Welcome to another amazing lesson of Pro Mandarin. And let me tell you, there's nothing that I like more than a nice bowl of noodle soup and learning some Mandarin. Today we're going to discuss some things we do and don't like in Chinese. Now if you're new here, you're probably wondering, can I learn all this Chinese in one video? Well, let's find out. All right, we're going to start off with a piece of vocabulary here that's going to help us throughout the entire lesson. Xi huan, xi huan. This word means to like. It can be paired up with any noun or verb, just like we do in English. Like, I like to snow ski, I like you, I like apples. Everything that we use in English can be used just the same in Chinese with this word. So, we're going to add in a couple categories here. All right, we're going to add in some pronouns right now. If you're already familiar with the pronouns in Chinese, feel free to skip ahead now. If you're not familiar with them or you'd like to get a little extra practice with them, go ahead and stick around for this part. On the left side, we're going to have wo for I, then we're going to have ni for you, ta for he or she, pronounced exactly the same, and mun, which is attached to the end here, to any of the pronouns such as woman, ni man, or ta man. So woman, us, ni man, you guys, ta man, they, or them. So quite simply, woman xi huan, we like. 我喜欢, I like, 你喜欢, you like, 你们喜欢, you guys like, and so on. Now, on the right side, we're going to add in some more vocabulary. 吃饭, meaning to eat food. 打扑克, that's to play poker. 喝汤, to drink soup, or as we say in English, to eat soup, they say to drink soup. 睡觉, to sleep. And 你, or 他, so for you or her. Now let's go ahead and try a few. Let's start off with, I like to eat soup. Now the way you'd say that is, 我喜欢喝汤. 我喜欢喝汤. And let me go ahead and give you one more example. Let's say, she likes to sleep. 她喜欢睡觉。她喜欢睡觉. Okay, now let's go ahead and try a couple others here. Now, whenever I ask, how would you ask or how would you say, and then I follow it up with a phrase, what I'm going to do is give you a moment to try to work it out in your own mind how you would say that, and then try to say it out loud. Now, if you need some extra time, go ahead and pause the video to give yourself a little bit extra time to kind of work that out. So how would you say you guys like to play poker? Nimen. <laughs> Now, how would you say she likes you? Alright, let's try one more. Now, how would you say I like to eat? Now we're going to add in one more column to give a little more dynamic or a little more emphasis to what we're trying to say here, such as hutton, which means very or really, fei chang. This is kind of, in a way, kind of means unusually or extremely. Then we have tai, which means too, as in too much or too little, something like that, but can be commonly used as well to mean really, and bu. Bu is the way to negate most all verbs in Chinese. So we're going to go ahead and go with that one here. Now, let's go ahead and go through a few examples. Now, although I'm referring to them very similarly, because all of them you can mean really, um, like I really like, such as hun, fei chang, or tai, but I'm going to refer to them as very for hun, extremely for fei chang, and although tai means too, as in it's too much, or it's too expensive, or it's too whatever, I'm going to refer to it as a lot, just to kind of give you guys some practice using each one of these. And for those that already speak Chinese, they'll know that all of these are very common commonly used words in day-to-day -day conversation. Now for our first example here, we'll say, I very much like to sleep. It's, you know, it's something that I like to do, so I'm going to go ahead and say, 我很喜欢睡觉。我很喜欢睡觉。All right, so let me give you another example here. You guys extremely like to eat food. The way that we would say that is, 你们非常喜欢吃饭。你们非常喜欢吃饭。all right, so now how would you say he doesn't like to eat soup? Ta bu si huan he tang. Ta bu si huan 
喝汤 All right, now how would you say I don't like you? 我不喜欢你。我不喜欢你。Hopefully, you don't hear that too many times in Chinese, but but it is the way you would say it. Let's do one more example before we move on. Let's try. He likes to play poker way too much, or he likes to play poker a lot. Now remember, it's still kind of like he really likes to play poker, just like the other ones, meaning really, but it's a little bit more emphasis on the too much or a lot. So how would you say that? He likes to play poker a lot. He likes to play poker a lot. He likes to play poker a lot. Now let's go ahead and move on and add in the little question word here to turn just about anything into a yes or no question. You can use ma at the end. All right. Now for an example, do you like to play poker? That would be, 你喜欢打扑克吗？你喜欢打扑克吗？ Alrighty. Let's do another one real quick before I have you practice it. Let's try. Does he like to sleep? 他喜欢睡觉吗？他喜欢睡觉吗 ？Now, how would you ask? I don't like to play poker. 我不喜欢打扑克吗？我不喜欢打扑克吗 ？Just remember when you're asking a question with a negated form like this. Or when you're using one of the three adverbs for really above the bu, it's usually kind of like you're responding to something that somebody said about you, such as、oh, he doesn't really like to play poker.、And、you're saying, wait, I don't like to play poker. Are you sure I don't like to play poker? Or something like that, anyway. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next section. But before we do that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out, so I can continue to make quality content like this video. All right, now back to the lesson. Okay, now coming back for part two of this lesson, I'm gonna add in another word here. I, I means to love, but normally it's it's a pretty strong word. It's not something that you would use、uh, unless you really, really, absolutely love somebody. Then in that case, you'd probably say it to them. However, one of the things about this is it is something that's commonly used in place of 喜欢 Okay, so again, even though it means love, they use it more like like. Another thing that you may have noticed is that the bu now changes to bu. That's because whenever you have a syllable following bu that ends also in a fourth tone or a falling tone, it actually changes over to a second tone, a rising tone, as you can see there. So instead of bu ai, it would be bu ai. So for an example, if I said maybe I'm asking a question, saying I don't like to sleep. I'd say something like, "Wo bu ai shui jiao ma." It's kind of like somebody saying, "Ah,、uh, ta bu ai shui jiao." Like, "Oh, he doesn't like sleeping." And then they're talking about me, and I go, "Wait, wait, wait, hold on." Wo bu ai shui jiao ma. Kind of like, I don't like to sleep. Are you sure about that? Let's do another one like that. Just imagine that somebody made some food and nobody wants to eat, and it's about time to eat, and they're asking, "What? You guys don't like to eat?" So how would you ask that? You guys don't like to eat? 你们不爱吃饭吗？你们不爱吃饭吗 ？Since we're on the subject of talking about eating, let's let's see how we would say. Does he like to eat? 他爱吃饭吗 ？However, where most of my in-laws are from, they'd say, 他爱吃饭不？ Now that would be a thing you'd hear in Shenyang City, or maybe even Liaoning Province. Alrighty. So, how would you ask then? Do you like to play poker using I? 你爱打扑克吗？你爱打扑克吗 ？Okay, so we'll go over a couple more examples here before we wrap up today's lesson. Now, how would you say? Do you love her? 你爱他吗？你爱他吗 ？And lastly, let's try. Does he like eating, or does he like to eat? And we're gonna use bu at the end of this one. 他爱吃饭不？他爱吃饭不
Now, if I were to answer the question and I were to say, no, nah, he doesn't like to eat, what I'm saying is, is he's a picky eater. Now, I could say, however, the actual word for saying picky is, so I could say, he's very picky, or he's extremely picky, and this can also be used in a question just like anything else, so you can say, so that's a little extra bonus word there for you. And that wraps up today's lesson. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and haven't 点赞 or 订阅 yet, please do so now. Or in other words, please like and subscribe. Also, if you like this video and you feel you need more practice, feel free to rewatch this video as many times as you need. And if you feel ready to move on, then check out the other videos on this channel as well. I promise you'll be speaking Mandarin fluently in no time. And until next time, 下次见。